Got a quick question for you. Are you currently between the ages of 11 to 16 years old? Do you get a lot of knee pain? And do you play a lot of experiences sports such as football, basketball? You might do a lot of running or maybe a lot of jumping. This condition is called ostrich slatters. Check out the rest of the video to find out how to fix it. Hey guys, my name is Hopkins Lando and welcome back to another YouTube video. And for today's video, we're going to be discussing what ostrich slatter is and how to fix it and also how to manage it. What is ostrich slatters? So ostrich slatters is basically a growing condition that occurs during your adolescent phase. And if you're very sporty, then most of you're going to experience this. You gotta get quite a lot of pain on the tibial tube velocity, which is right here. So it's gonna be painful and a bit of swelling. The reason why this happens is because currently you're going through a phase where your bones are growing faster than your muscles. So your muscles are being pulled by your bones, and this leads to your patellar tendon right here to pull into the section right here, everybody, causing you to get the pain. Luckily for us, we have a live example of what osteoclastic is with my nephew. Could you please introduce yourself? Hey guys, my name is Owen. I am 14 years old. I play football four times a week. So my nephew currently plays a lot of football and he's from France as well. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to push down at the tubular tuberosity right here. Does that hurt you? Yes. Yeah, so he's got this little bump right here at the moment. And that's one of the common symptoms with osteoclastis. Some of you guys might not have the bump, but you'll still get pain right here. Another common symptom will be that you're going to experience a lot of pain running, jumping, and also any movements which lowers the knee. I'm going to show you guys the best exercise stretches to help you relieve some of this pain the straight leg raise exercise. The purpose of this exercise is to strengthen your quad muscle and also your hip flexor muscle. To perform it, I want you to sit down on the ground and I want you to extend one of your legs and then I want you to contract your quad and raise your leg up. Make sure you do this movement in a controlled manner and I recommend you do three sets and 12 reps of this exercise. The glute bridge exercise. To perform this exercise, I want you to lend your back and bend both your knees and make sure that your feet are shoulder width apart. Next, I want you to push through your hips and maintain that contraction for two seconds at the top and then come back down. I recommend you do three sets and 12 reps of this exercise. Hip adduction. The whole purpose of this exercise is strengthening your adductor muscles. All you're going to do is lay on your side and start to raise your leg up and down. Make sure that you truly lay on your side so we're able to activate our adductor muscles. I recommend you perform this 3 sets and 12 reps. And now we have the hip adduction exercise. To complete this exercise, I want you to lay on your side and raise your leg up and down in a controlled manner. What you'll notice is that it's quite hard to perform because a lot of people don't work on their adductors. So this is a very good exercise to implement into your daily routine. I recommend three sets and 12 reps of this exercise. Here we have the ball squeeze exercise. You don't necessarily have to use a ball. You can use a pillow or a book, anything you put in between your legs and you're just going to need to squeeze the object. Hold it for five seconds, then rest and then repeat it again. I recommend three sets and 15 reps of this exercise. To perform the quad stretch exercise, all you're gonna need to do is stand on one leg, grab the other leg and pull it back towards you as you feel a stretch towards your quadricep muscle. To make the stretch a bit harder, what you can do is contract your glute muscle and you'll feel a bigger stretch. I recommend you hold the stretch for 45 seconds. And now we have a hamstring stretch. There are a number of ways to perform this stretch, but for this example, we decided to use it with an elevated surface. Place your foot on the elevated surface and lean towards your foot and you should feel a stretch at your hamstring. I want you to hold the stretch between 45 to 60 seconds. The inner range quad exercise. The whole point of this exercise is to strengthen your quadricep muscles, specifically your VMO, which does the last 30 degrees of knee extension. Get an object underneath your knee and then start to extend your knee. I recommend you do 3 sets and 12 reps of this exercise. And now we're going to be foam rolling our hamstrings. To complete this, I'm going to want you to place the foam roller underneath you and start rolling back and forth. And this is going to help to relieve all those knots, those active trigger points. And while doing this, I want you to slightly change the angle of where you're rolling because your hamstring isn't a flat muscle, it curves around your leg. 
I recommend you complete this for roughly one minute to two minutes. Now we are foam rolling the quadricep muscle. To perform this exercise, get one of your legs onto the foam roller and try to put all your weight onto it and start running back and forth. Make sure to try and adjust the angle that your foam roller does so you're able to target all the aspects of the quad muscle. I recommend you do this for two minutes. Next, we are foam rolling the calf muscle. Get the majority of your weight onto the foam roller and start running back and forth. You should start to feel a pressure on your calf muscle. Try to also adjust the angle on which you're rolling. I recommend you do it for two minutes. And now we have the calf stretch exercise. Get one knee towards the wall, the other slightly away. And I want you to keep the heel on the ground, the one that's slightly away. If your heel raises, then you're going to lose the stretch sensation. Keep it down, and I recommend you hold this for 45 seconds. I just want to say a massive thank you to my nephew taking part in this video. Just like many of you guys watching this video, he's got big aspirations of playing football at a high level. And it might not be football, it could be basketball, sprinting, rugby, whatever sport. But you got to make sure that we're including strength training and also recovery days. Fun time to help your body relax. So guys, those are the best exercise stretches to help you manage your osteoschlatters. Now keep in mind, with osteoschlatters, you can't really fix the problem. You can manage the problem. Because this is more like a growing pain, so the pain will usually go away once your growth plates are fully fused. So when you get to roughly 16, 17 years old, that's when the pain is going to diminish quite a lot. But during the time when you do have the pain, these stretches will help you manage that a lot better. Next way to manage your osteoscleritis is through activity modification. And what that is essentially is basically trying to figure out a good schedule for you to play your sports. So for example, if you're playing football six times a week, maybe you might need to play football four to three times a week so we're able to manage your pain and implement these exercises that we've given to you through this video. Please make sure to like, subscribe, share this with all your friends. I just want to say a big thank you to my nephew to be part of the video. Um, he's currently going through his Oscars, but in a few years it's going to go down, but with the exercise I've given him, it's going to get a lot better.